So here we have the Volkswagen Polo on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and as I mentioned, we'll run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. On the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the center, you can see the total miles of the car. They are 80,527. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change uh, the information that's displayed in that section using controls on the steering wheel for various different uh, pieces of information, as you can see. And that is all done using the buttons just here. We have stereo controls, which continue on the left-hand side, along with cruise control for the car. In the sensor, we then have the main touchscreen. Above that, you can turn your parking sensors on and off, hazard warning lights on and off, your rear heated screen, and also the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is off when that light shows. We have a touchscreen below uh, that. Uh, you can use this dial if you wish to, or as I said, it is touchscreen. We're on the main menu there, accessed via this button, but you can, of course, use the physical buttons to enter certain menus. For example, uh, the radio, where you'll see we've got DAB, FM, and AM. If you want to listen to your own music, press the media button. There's a number of ways you can listen to your music, including Bluetooth audio. So once you pair up your phone, which is done just here, you'll be able to make and receive phone calls and stream your music as well. Uh, this car's got a visual guide to the parking sensors to go along with the fact that it uh, beeps, of course. Below that, we then have the air conditioning. You can adjust the temperature, fan speed, and direction of the air. The air conditioning is off, back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set over here. We have two cup holders, 12 volt charging socket, auxiliary input, USB input, and some storage back here as well. And then a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.